The following presentation explains the use of the transfer system to be used with EasyPlant. Please uh, remember that the system has not been manufactured for 10 years and that the restorative techniques will need to be appropriate to the age of the system. The transfer system is still available from Osteoti and must be used in the prescribed manner using the correct drivers and instruments. Uh, instruments are not loaned, uh, they must be purchased and they're not returned and any goods out of their wrapping or goods which have been used uh, will not be accepted for return and refund. Uh, it is important that you ensure before opening any components that they are the correct components uh, for the easy system. If you're in any doubt, please return the components immediately. They will not work with anything other than the easy system and to try and do so could be damaging to either the implant or the components themselves. In order to be able to take a transfer impression, you will need the following three items. A click in top, code CT, a low profile screw, code LPS, and a click in base, uh, code CB. Further information about the different types of CB available uh, will be seen in the next slide. The click in bases come in four basic sizes, long and short, and each one has a different diameter. So the long comes as a 4.5 diameter and also as a 3.75 diameter, which matches that of the implant. The short also comes as a CB4, which is 4.5 diameter, and CB3, which is a 3.75. If you're unsure as to what diameter implant you have got, then the recommendation is that you stick to a CB3. However, any of the bases may be used on any of the implants. But please remember, that the technician will need to use the matching base when he pours the analog model. So this means that if you've used a CB3 to take the impression, the technician will also require a CB3 in order to pour the analog model. Please do not get the CBs mixed up if you're using different lengths and diameters in the same arch as uh, this will cause uh, problems and the analog model will be inaccurate. Before attempting to take a transfer impression using a click in top, it is important to ensure that you have got the right transfer and that inadvertently you are not trying to use the more updated uh, universal transfer or the anchor lock transfer. The points to look for is you will see there is a cut or a cross cut into the top of the hex and this is indicative of a click in top. If your transfer does not have this cross cut into it then it is not the correct transfer for this technique. This is the low profile screw and is used to retain the CB base onto the implant and also onto the analog at the laboratory. One a screw is used for all prosthetic procedures uh, in the system, including retaining the posts. In order to drive the uh, post screw or the LPS, it will be necessary to use the universal hex tool. This is a hex diameter unique to the EASY system. Uh, it is highly unlikely that you will have a hex of a similar dimension uh, to be used with the system from any other system. Also, if you were to use another driver and inadvertently cause damage to either the driver or the low profile screw, uh, Osteotie would not be liable for the misuse of its components or instrumentation. Okay, I will now take you diagrammatically through the stages of a transfer impression. 
First of all, it's important to connect your clicking base to the implant. This is done using the low profile screw in conjunction with the universal hex tool. Then uh, click the clicking top into the top of the base like so. Please do not try and insert the clicking top directly into the implant. This will not work and will result in a faulty impression. Next, you will end up with a completed unit like so. You will now inject impression material through the top of the clicking top. And this will come out through the venting holes like so, as shown in the diagram here. This is used to lock the transfer or clicking top into the um, impression material as shown in the diagram here. Then by withdrawing the impression tray, the clicking top is taken away from the base. The base is left in situ on top of the implant and may be used as a healing collar. Obviously, the technician will require a matching base uh, for the analog model preparation. This clinical picture shows a base in situ on top of an implant in a patient's mouth. For hygiene reasons, it has been covered with putty. The putty has been removed and the clicking top pushed into the base so it fits securely. You will not necessarily hear an audible click when the two components go together, but the component should be quite firmly attached and there should be minimal or no mobility. Next, the tip of the impression syringe is introduced into the top of the clicking top. Impression material is injected through the top of the clicking top so that it vents out through the side ports. When the impression uh, tray is removed, this will help secure the clicking top in the impression material. It is important that you use a hard set impression material such as Impregum Hard, a polyether, not a light bodied uh, silicone uh, or a, even a heavy bodied silicone as these may either displace the uh, clicking top or may not grip it securely enough for it to be able to be withdrawn in the impression. When the impression is removed from the mouth, you should clearly see the clicking top secured in the material. If this is not the case and the clicking top has ripped out of the impression, do not try and reposition it into the impression. It would be necessary to clean the clicking top, remove impression material from the venting system and repeat the procedure. Once you have an accurate impression, it is necessary for your laboratory to produce an analog model. In order to do this, they will need a matching click-in base to the one used to take the original transfer impression. This is attached to the analog, which is then pushed into position securely on the transfer base, uh, which is retained in the transfer impression. And then a model can be poured as usual. OK, so now in order to produce our analog, you will need the click-in top which, as I say, is now locked into the uh, impression material down here somewhere. You will need the low profile screw, or at least your laboratory will. They will use this to secure the base to our analog. And then this whole thing is assembled by pushing the uh, base onto the uh, male part of the clicking top which is retained in the impression material. The laboratory should be then able to produce a soft tissue analog model in the normal way. If you have any further questions, please refer to the uh, instructions which will have been provided uh, with the components uh, when they were purchased.